Jonathan Craig. All right, thank you guys. It's uh, it's great to be here tonight. I uh, I feel really safe here, which is uh, right. Can't say that very often in Dayton. That's, uh, I did a show yesterday uh, over off Gettysburg. Right? Not so safe. <laughs> as soon as I turned onto Gettysburg, my GPS was like, in point two miles, duck down and pray. <laughs> it's not a good sign at all. <laughs> the, uh, the show was at uh, Dayton Correctional Institute. <laughs> which is currently an all-female prison. Yeah, if you ever want to feel like Justin Bieber for a day, <laughs> that's where you go. <laughs> I felt like I had smuggled in some contraband, just having balls, you know? <laughs> Never been so popular. <laughs> I uh, recently had to stop smoking weed yeah, just right over there by that door. Some guy was like, you can't do that in here, sir. I was like, are you sure? Have you checked? That joke went over pretty well at the prison, too. You ever gotten so stoned that you start thinking it's a bad idea to go to work? I don't have a joke for that. I just wanted you guys to know how I feel right now. <laughs> you guys are fun. I, uh, I recently turned 33, and uh, I'm this close to outliving Jesus. <laughs> it's quite the accomplishment. I, I, I had a good birthday, though. I uh, got an iPad for my birthday. Finally, I can play the piano while I shit. <laughs> I don't know what else to do with it. <laughs> I noticed this, though. Uh, anytime you purchase one of the Apple devices, they always try to pressure you into getting the Apple Care insurance policy that goes with the device. You know? The only problem is that the Apple Care insurance policy always costs the same amount as the device you just purchased. Right? But if your iPad costs $600, the Apple Care insurance to cover it also costs $600. That's ridiculous. It's actually cheaper to just adopt an Asian kid. Right? Why mess with the warranty when you can just purchase the manufacturer? <laughs> The message here is that rice is cheap. Anywho. <laughs> I had a possum crawl in my garage the other day. And uh, it was crawling with its front legs and dragging its back legs. And I didn't know if it was like really injured or if it was just playing paraplegic. <laughs> right? Because sometimes possums play dead. But uh, I didn't know if they could also play Lieutenant Dan. <laughs> I realize that a lot of you already have a favorite when it comes to paraplegic possum jokes. <laughs> I recommend that one. That's a good one. <laughs> and, uh, I had a good Valentine's Day, because uh, I, I know that women like to know that you're thinking about the future. you know. So uh, I took my girlfriend hiking in the woods and showed her all the places I planned to bury her. <laughs> When I wrote that joke, I spelled berry wrong, right? So it sounds malicious, but it looks delicious. <laughs> that joke is stupid. <laughs> I'm all out of possum jokes, I'm sorry. Fresh out. I, uh, I did. Uh, I do. I do. Uh, I do like her, though. Uh, I had a dream the other night that me and my girlfriend uh, finally tied the knot. 
Uh, well, actually, I tied the knot. She just kind of hung there. <laughs> Which makes perfect sense, right? Because she's a nuisance. And, uh, <laughs> now she's a teller ball. It's, it's kind of got dark. I feel like I lost some of you. <laughs> Get back to happy thoughts here. I, uh, <laughs> I went to Waffle House last night because I haven't had the shits in a while. <laughs> this was a real Waffle House, too. Like, uh, even the hand dryers had, like, a smoker's cough. <laughs> no. was, uh, I was drying my hands. They were like, <laughs> kept waiting for some Flynn to shoot out or something. <laughs> That's where the soap is. I don't know. <laughs> I hadn't been to Waffle House in a while, so uh, I asked the waitress, I was like, what do you recommend? She was like, Burger King. <laughs> I was like, well, uh, how's the steak? Right? She was like, I think it's good. Which to me is kind of a red flag, you know? <laughs> Because I don't really know if she means, I think it tastes good, or I think it's still good. <laughs> Those are different. <laughs> one of them is a recommendation, but uh, the other one could mean just about anything. You could be like, well, there's only one left, and uh, we've been washing dishes with it. <laughs> I think it's good. I've been trying to eat healthy here lately, but uh, it's expensive to eat healthy, right? It seems like anything that's good for you costs like an arm and a leg, which is ironically the same price as diabetes. <laughs> no matter how you look at it, that joke's pretty sweet. <laughs> Not feeling the dark ones, I can tell. <laughs> I started taking vitamins. I uh, thought uh, that would be a good step. Uh, they're called one a day, but the directions clearly state take two a day. Yeah, that just seems harder than it has to be, you know? Let's keep it simple. Someone told me that, uh, that fish oil, I guess, is supposed to be like really good for your joints or something. But uh, from my experience, it really just makes them harder to light. <laughs> smell twice as funky, you know? <laughs> I'm trying to stop eating so much fast food. Uh, that's not good for you. But uh, if you're going to eat fast food, you should always pay with a 50. Because uh, those kids suck at math. <laughs> Went to rallies the other day, ordered $13 worth of food, paid with a 50. They gave me my food and $56 and change. <laughs> Got free food and gas money. <laughs> Winner. <laughs> Apparently they thought I paid with a 70. <laughs> Those are rare. I say rare because I think you could get a 70 at Fifth Third Bank. <laughs> They're not very good at math either. <laughs> they call themselves Fifth Third instead of something that makes sense, right? Like one and two thirds bank. <laughs> Some of you aren't laughing. You see, five doesn't go into three. <laughs> That's where the joke is. Their slogan is, uh, banking made simple, fractions not so much. <laughs> this lady over here, she's on it. She's like, yeah, I got you. Move on. <laughs> uh, I, I did a comedy show a couple days ago with, uh, with this, this uh, black comic, and he had, a, he had kind of a preacher rhythm about him. And uh, he was like, where are my church people at? 
And it was dead silent. <laughs> he was like, damn, none of you motherfuckers go to church? <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> and I was like, who? I don't go to church. Uh, I'm not very religious. I don't go to church, but I do follow God on Twitter. I think that's close enough. <laughs> he's, uh, he's awfully preachy for a guy who is also the leading cause of death. <laughs> it's just hard to take his advice. You know? <laughs> I think if I was going to go to church, uh, I'd probably go to that solid rock church, you know, because uh, I'm a big fan of cocaine. <laughs> Alice, do you think they built a $2 million statue of Jesus, right? <laughs> Had some cocaine involved, I'm sure. <laughs> Have you guys seen the new Touchdown Jesus? <laughs> I, uh, I was pretty sad, actually, the first time I saw it, because uh, I really wanted to help rebuild Touchdown Jesus, because uh, I believe that resurrecting Jesus is a lofty addition to any resume. <laughs> I mean, who's not going to hire me now, you know? <laughs> They'd be like, uh, I'm sorry, sir, but uh, you're just not what we're looking for. I'd be like, really? Did you see where I resurrected Jesus? <laughs> He'd be like, uh, yeah, I did. And I still don't see how that qualifies you to be a surrogate mother. <laughs> well, that's a hell of a point. <laughs> Good day. <laughs> so it's getting nice outside. It's starting to get all spring-like. Uh, thinking about getting a season pass to Kings Island, you know, just for the material. <laughs> Some good people watching there, right? <laughs> I remember I, I, uh, the last time I was there, I was, uh, I was next in line for the drop zone, and uh, the guy getting on the ride in front of me uh, couldn't get his uh, safety harness down, like, over top of his enormous girth of a person, you know? Uh, the next thing I know, there was an employee on each side of his harness, like, with a hold of his harness, just, just pulling, you know? Like, with all their might, just like hoping for one click. Yeah, one click, and this dude is gonna ride this ride. Now, I don't know if you've ever rode the drop zone before, but uh, typically you want, I don't know, uh, six, seven, eight clicks. You, know? you damn sure don't wanna be able to count the clicks. Right? That ride is scary enough as it is. Right? Out of nowhere, they broke out some duct tape. And I was like, hold up, Carney, this ain't Americana. <laughs> you guys remember that shit, all? <laughs> Not everyone called it Americana. Some people called it Fantasy Farm. Uh, either way, it meant the same thing. Yeah. You were poor. <laughs> Or Kings Island, right? <laughs> Why else would you go there? <laughs> Don't worry, I was with you. Uh, I had a very poor family. I, my family was so poor that they would, uh, any chance they got, they would just threaten to cancel Christmas. <laughs> June, May, it didn't matter, right? <laughs> Christmas is over. <laughs> do you guys ever do that? Take the cheap way out? <laughs> One year, they went through with it. Yeah. Canceled Christmas. Well, actually, they didn't so much as cancel it as just not save up the proper amount of Marlboro miles in order to pay for it. <laughs> My mom had a slogan. Right? She said, you can buy anything with Marlboro miles. I found out a few years later, that's not true. I guess you can buy anything but health care. <laughs> Coffin. <laughs> uh, it's not that bad, though. Uh, once, after thumbing through the catalog, we buried her in a really nice tent with a leather jacket. <laughs> I'm just kidding. There's a lot of reasons you can't bury a tent. The, uh, the physics just aren't there. <laughs> so we just left it in the yard like a white trash mausoleum. <laughs> the landlord, not a fan. <laughs> 
We saved a lot of money, right? Because it sleeps four. So. <laughs> I think Grandpa is going to be the next resident, right? Mathematically, he's uh, he's getting old. He's uh, he's always going uh, on and on about how times have changed, you know? Times have changed. He says. The other day, he was listening to some old music, I'm starting to think he's on to something, right? Because here's how the song went. It was like, "Lay down, Sally." <laughs> There's no need to leave so soon. Because I've been trying all night long just to talk to you. Now, I don't, I don't know what a date rape song sounds like. But if I had to guess, I'm going to go with that one. <laughs> I just get the feeling that Sally was in like stranger danger, you know? <laughs> some foul play going on there at some degree. I don't know. <laughs> Times have changed though. Uh, I think kids are really smart these days. It's like, it's really hard to convince kids to believe in things like Easter bunnies and tooth fairies and popes. <laughs> so, <laughs> You have to have a very elaborate story now, you know? Like, uh, my niece is getting to that age where she's starting to get suspicious, you know? She came to me a couple months ago, and she was like, how does Santa get around to every single house in one night? And I didn't know what to say. So I was like, well, you know, uh, Santa's a hard worker. Probably Mexican. <laughs> I mean, he sure knows his way around a roof, you know? <laughs> Crosses international borders, completely undetected. <laughs> you gotta really pile up the evidence, is what you do. <laughs> I think I convinced her, too, because uh, instead of milk and cookies, she left out chips and salsa. <laughs> The whole day she was singing Feliz Navidad. <laughs> she was really into it. It worked like magic. It was great. Uh, let's, see. let's do something different here. A round of applause. How many people want to see some magic? Wait, well, came to the wrong show then, I guess. <laughs> I don't do magic. Uh, I once made a baby disappear, but it cost me 700 bucks. Right? Magic kits are expensive. It was worth it though, right? This trick had everything. The parents were pissed. They were like, hey buddy, uh, where's our baby? Right? And I was all like, ta-da! It all worked out. They got her back, because uh, that's the polite thing to do once they pay the ransom. <laughs> Some of you didn't follow. You see, it smells like an abortion joke, but it's a kidnapping joke, and that's completely different. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> that was a weird one. <laughs> Here's a normal one. I, uh, I wrote a applause. How many people went to public school? Uh, something I don't understand about public school is, is that anywhere you go to public school, at some point during the year, you have to sell chocolate bars. I don't see the connection. Like, who voted yes on issue Willy Wonka? <laughs> you can't even get out of it, either. I tried one year. I was like, you know, I don't think this is for me. They were like, sign the clipboard. <laughs> So I got this bag of chocolate bars, right, that I don't even want. I feel like I did what any kid would do. I ate as many as I could and uh, traded the rest for a pack of smokes. Yeah, they get pissed when you do that, too. Because they were like, where's our money? And I was all like, ta-da. I didn't care. What are they going to do? Call my parents? Good luck finding them. 
Hell, if you do find them, tell them I said hi. <laughs> Miss you. <laughs> that one had a sad ending. Woo. <laughs> Oh, I don't know where I'm at on time. I don't care, this is fun. We're just gonna keep doing this, all right? This is <laughs> when, uh, when people ask you recently, I've been telling them that I'm growing out my hair, because uh, that sounds a lot better than can't afford a haircut. <laughs> but I do this for a living. I don't just got haircut money laying around. <laughs> Sometimes I don't even have bill money laying around. <laughs> but I always manage to have drug money laying around. It's weird how that works. <laughs> I love doing this, though. Uh, you don't make a lot of money at first, though, uh, when you first get into entertainment. You kind of got to do it for the passion, you know? You got to be really into it. A lot of people get in with the attitude of, uh, you know, get rich or die trying. Uh, I'm not really that serious about it. Okay? <laughs> I'm more like, uh, get rich or high trying. <laughs> there's, a, there's a new cold sore medicine. I saw this commercial the other day uh, called Herpesin. Have you guys seen this? Yeah. Right? Clearly just herpes plus medicine, right? <laughs> They're not even fucking trying anymore. <laughs> Who the hell's going to buy that? <laughs> you can't conceal that in your pocket, right? Like, God forbid that falls out. It's like, oh, so that's just my purpose, and I'll get it. <laughs> oh, damn right you will. <laughs> Nobody else is touching that nasty shit. <laughs> you can't even conceal that kind of shame in a purse, you know? Uh, ladies, if I'm ever out on a date with you and I see herpesin in your purse, well, that date's fucking over. <laughs> If it's extra strength herpesin, I'm gonna take a cab home and burn my car. <laughs> right? Take no chances. <laughs> I saw this commercial the other day where the, they've been doing this for a while now, the uh, Bing It On Challenge, right? Where they've been doing side-by-side -side comparisons with Bing and Google. You guys seen this? Yeah. Uh, I actually only tried Bing once just to see if the porn was different. Uh, it wasn't, it never went back. <laughs> uh, I don't care what they say, I think it's easier to trust Google, right? Uh, I think, I don't know, maybe because both, we both have a white background? I don't know. But, uh, <laughs> terrible delivery on that. I think if Bing wants to be successful, instead of the Bing it on slogan, they should just change one letter, right? Like instead of calling it Bing, they should have called it Bang. People love to bang stuff. <laughs> like, sure, it's fun to Google Megan Fox. Be a lot more fun to bang her. Right? <laughs> right? Even the app would be hilarious. You could just call it finger bang. <laughs> it's not even dirty. <laughs> I'm not saying that all this would make it more successful than Google, right? It's just my bing bang theory. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank you, that's pretty clever. <laughs> I learned at an early age that uh, you can't believe everything that you learn on the internet. Like, uh, I'll never forget the day I found out that Japanese girls don't really have blurry crotches. <laughs> the weirdest Christmas of my life. Yeah. <laughs> Even to this day, I'm still not allowed back in that Dairy Queen. <laughs> that doesn't even make sense. <sighs> There's a, a lot of padded corners in today's society, you know? Like everything's gotta be kind of politically correct. But I feel like some things just get looked over, you know? Like, uh, I can't believe we're still allowed to call it Fat Tuesday. <laughs> I think by now it'd be like Husky Tuesday, or <laughs> Big Bone Tuesday, or <laughs> Glandular Disorder Tuesday, something. <laughs> something rhymy or something. Like some things they don't even pay attention to, right? Like if, uh, if Jesus was Jewish, 
And it's slightly inappropriate to represent the body of Christ as some oven-baked cracker. <laughs> I don't think that's kosher, right? <laughs> All right, I gotta get out of here in a minute. But <laughs> The uh, NASCAR season is back. That's awesome. Any NASCAR fans in here? Good. Good. <laughs> I, uh, I love NASCAR season, uh, not because I'm a fan of the sport, but I think that during the race is the safest time to go to Walmart. <laughs> you can just be in and out, you know? <laughs> I'm poor enough to shop there, but I'm smart enough to be ashamed of it. <laughs> people to see me. <laughs> I had a comic buddy. He actually, he loves to shop there, but uh, he does a lot of asshole things. I don't judge. <laughs> like, uh, anytime he owes me money, he always pays me with a personal check, just so he can write something derogatory in the memo line. You know? uh, I did a show for him last week, and he gave me a check for $80, and in the memo line he wrote, for renting your butthole. <laughs> Yeah, sure, that's funny, until you try to cash the check. Until I was like, I'm sorry, sir, uh, we can't cash this check. And I was like, well, obviously he was kidding. And she's like, well, he forgot to sign the check. We don't dispute that that's what he did it for. Right to my face. I, uh, I did get her back, though, because uh, once he signed the check, I took it back into Fifth Third, and she said, is there any particular way you'd like to have this back? And I was like, yeah, I'll take a 10 and a 70. <laughs> <laughs> Just wanted to see if they had them. <laughs> All right, last one. I, uh, the other day I was having a smoke with my girlfriend, and uh, I pulled two cigarettes out of the pack, and I dropped one on the ground. And I said, here, you can have this one. I'll smoke the dirty one, right? Because that's what a gentleman does. I mean, what kind of monster hands a tainted cigarette to a pregnant woman? <laughs> Obviously, I'm kidding. I hung my girlfriend 13 minutes ago. <laughs> That's my time, folks. My name is Jonathan Craig. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>